unless there are questions. Dr. Perry. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Dubeka. Right? That was really nice. Now, uh, I, I I happen to have a bit of uh, insight in terms of yeah. what what our colleagues from Zikas have been doing. In fact, not too long ago, they invited us, myself and uh, a colleague of mine, Abel and uh, Zachary. Mm -hmm. uh, they invited us to a very nice event. They fed us actually, which was quite nice. So um, I, uh, I, I don't have any specific questions myself. I'll leave it up to the people in the audience to, to share their thoughts or to ask questions. But I just wanted to point out that some of the things that um, um, that Pumba was talking about um, are probably going to come up again on Wednesday when we have um, the current acting institutional repository manager for the Invest of Zambia Library, Zachary. Um, and I, I, I do believe he's going to touch a little bit on policy, but his focus is going to be on how you get to market your IR, right? So uh, issues that uh, Bumba was talking about with regards to indexing content uh, so that when people search for Scoring research output on platforms such as Google Scholar, your scoring publications appear there, right? Uh, and then also uh, on Thursday, there's another talk by Abel, which is more aligned towards open access publishing, but you probably want to attend because these things are linked. But so I'll uh, invite questions if people have any specific questions for uh, Boomba. I know I see people in the house that perhaps might be interested in implementing or launching IR. So I guess now would be the time to ask questions so that you learn a thing or two. Feel free to ask if you have a question. It's uh, open season. Hello. Hello. Hello, Cecilia. Uh, uh, yes, uh, how are you? I Bumba? just want to comment on the... Okay. <laughs> okay, Harriet, I think you can go first. All right. Yes, I, it's, my question is uh, regarding the inconsistency, the consistency of uh, describing data that you, when you were, when you were talking about uh, the titles, mm -hmm. where if somebody has a PhD, we include doc, mm -hmm. and then the other one, you don't, you just write, uh, like, I don't know, just the name itself. Mm -hmm. So I, I know there was uh, a concern that uh, it will bring inconsistency mm -hmm. because others will be just moved as, 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 as they are. And then when a person has a title like PhD, you include dog. But I, I also want to, to talk about the RDA. You know, when you are describing data, we are RDA demands data. The person's credentials, for example, titles and whatever, it has to be included. Now, I don't know if at all we, you remove uh, the title of that person. Are you, are you going against what we are supposed to do? Because in as much as we are doing, we are working on the digital information resource. We also have, have to consider that there is uh, this uh, you know, system that we follow, like RDA. I don't know if it is related to, to like uh, ED, EDT. I don't know if uh, I got you correctly, but what we have adopted is the Dublin Core Scheme, Metadata Scheme. So yes. um, I would stand to be corrected whether that has to be in sync with RDA. Like I said, we are learning, and uh, I was basically sharing our, uh, our experiences. So as regards RIDA, that's something we'd have to go back to and uh, see. All right, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, how are you, Wumba, once again? Hi, Cecilia. Yes, hi. I have uh, two questions. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the first one... Uh, is I just want to find out on which server as uh, do you have like different servers for the Koha and the repository or you just use a single one? I want to presume they sit on different servers. I'm not so IT, I'm not, uh, I can't say I have much information as regards the servers they sit on. That would have to be, I'd have to I, get one. 
consultation from my our IT personnel. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then um, the other one is you did talk about CPD, <clears throat> like as one of the problems that you encountered, having not trained the people like Prio, the implementation. Did you let her do it? And if you did, who were your target uh, people? Was it the academicians? Was it the students? Did you include other staffs? And uh, how was your experience? Was it successful? Because I did notice that at the time we had um, installed, at the time we started using our e-resources, like on last year, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't do much literacy training. And as a result, uh, they were not used as according to our expectations. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I think it is important that before anything is implemented, people are trained, like yeah. you just uh, mentioned. So I just want to find out how you did it, if at all you did, and how you managed to bring them to the library for the training. Okay, so we, a few of us attended the, the training or the workshop I think it was organized by Unilas. I can see Mr. Chilonga, so he would probably um, uh, shed more light. But there was a CPD, there was a workshop organized by Unilas for should have been African thesis and dissertation, something like that. So after we attended that training, a few of us from Zikas, we later on um, shared what we learned with our colleagues. And after that, we initiated talks with IT and started working towards uh, probably having a platform. We later on spoke to, we have a director for research and consultancy. So in collaboration with that directorate or in, in collaboration with the director, we now communicated to the research head and uh, the heads of department to send to forward the the journal articles that are probably sent to their department and also there was uh, some that were sitting on our website as just uh, research for zikas so after we did uh, some uploads of uh, a number of them together with the student publications we called for a meeting with um, with the faculty through the office of the vice chancellor. So we called for faculty where we just convened in one, one of the lecture theaters and we launched the repository to them. And basically we showed them what it is all about. We shared to them the benefits of having a repository and the benefits of having a central place where the research output of the university or an institution can be located. So I can say from the part of the lecturers and then from the students, we have a student management system which allows them to log in and be able, and once they are logged on to that system, they are able to see the other systems that are there and are able to see or view this space. And so I can say that uh, from the lecturer's point of view, from the teaching staff end, we've had uh, quite a good response from, from them. We might need to do more as regards sensitizing the students once they come back, or we might even say, because we have their contacts, so we'll do more uh, as regards sensitizing the students. Thank you. All right, any, any more questions? Okay. Uh, right, if there are no questions then, uh, I, so I just shared a, a link to the, uh, I, I know she had mentioned that, um, that the server was done, but I checked and I noticed I think it's back online. So I shared a link in case people are interested in having a few of how the Zika's repository looks like. Um, 
so there's a link in the in the chat there. Uh, uh, so if there are no questions, I just wanted to thank our speaker today. Uh, we know she's a very busy person, right? These are busy times here. Oh, sorry, there's a question here uh, from Adrian saying, I don't know if he doesn't want to use the microphone, but I'll speak to <laughs> him as well. Yeah. Um, evening, Boomba, could you clarify on the following formats from different schools as you are uploading? On following formats, I don't know what he means here, but uh, I, I see you can see the comment, the, the text, Boomba. I don't know if you understand the question, but I'm... I don't think I do. Maybe he's still typing or something. Okay. If you can... Hello. Hello. I think what he says to say you clarify on following, how do you go about the format see, from the different schools as you are uploading? There's a guideline provided to students to follow as they are writing or as they, are, as they write their dissertation. So there's an institutional guideline that is provided to them. So basically that's what I meant. I don't know if that answers uh, your question. We will assume it, it does because uh, there's no follow-up uh, message in the chat here. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. surprised that uh, uh, colleagues that are enrolled into 5310 are not asking questions, especially- Oh, actually, the, Adrian yeah. says yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that we, are, we, we don't have a lot of questions coming in from our colleagues that are enrolled in 5310 because uh, we, we've actually just wrapped up, or at least we're almost wrapping up uh, our discussion of this particular topic. Uh, okay. So we were expecting a lot of questions. But anyway, I suppose maybe most of what uh, uh, Bumba talked about was clear. Uh, hey, again. Thank you so much for finding time to do this, Bumba, especially that it's pro bono work, as the lawyers call it, right? Uh, <laughs> we are very grateful. We know you're a very busy person. Uh, but I think this is one of the ways we can move forward. Uh, the yeah. way we see this, I mean, we, we invite people that are actually doing this sort of work so that we can, we can try and see how we can encourage other institutions. Uh, mm -hmm. There are about 60 institutions of higher learning to, you know, if they, they haven't yet set up repositories, uh, so yeah. that they can set up the repository, or at the very least, the public higher education institutions, the, the seven that, that we have. Uh, so thank you so much. We are very grateful. Uh, we, we hope you can join us on, on Wednesday. We, we think that your insight uh, will be very helpful once, um, once Zachary gives a talk um, that's, that's going to be from the perspective of the UNSA institutional repository. So it would be nice if we could have it back and forth, if you have time. The talk sure. is like 18 hours. Yes. Would, 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 would definitely join. And uh, I must also say that uh, we are grateful for the guidance we've been getting from UNSA. We've uh, learned quite a lot as regards how to go about our institutional repository. So on behalf of the Zika's library, I would like to say thank you and uh, we keep learning from you people. So thank you too for having us. Yeah, and I think we, we learn from each other. You notice that, uh, I'm sure, I wish Zachary was around. I'm sure there are things that you're definitely doing better that Unza could learn from, right? So yeah. it's more about learning from each other. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank to the you. people, to the 15, is it 14, oh my goodness, 13 people that uh, were around mm -hmm. to listen to Boomba's talk, thank you so much for attending. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope to see you on Wednesday. Thank you. I'll ask the 5310 students to stick around because I think we're meant to have an interaction or something. Thank you so oh. much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Umba. Thank you very much, Madam Mutello. <laughs>